it didn't occur to me the burden that people with the diagnosis of cancer have to bear until I had to go through the experience myself. There are so many of us without the support that we need and it's important for us to help out as much as we possibly can. You ready? Well, let me take my hat off. You want to see me ball? Oh. I am helping patients here at St. Thomas Rutherford Hospital of Murfreesboro. Okay, I think I need to ring the and bell. And I'm a retired uh, university administrator. So what I do here is not work, it's service. <laughs> and it's volunteer service. So when a patient contacts me and they share with me that they're having to go through this experience. That's when we decide to match up our schedules so that I can be with them from the beginning of the journey to the very end. We start early with all the routines, beginning with the drawing of the blood for the blood tests. And then once we do that, we wait until uh, the patient has met with the oncologist or the surgeon. And uh, if they're in treatment, chemo treatment especially, we then wait to be seated in one of the stations that they have been assigned to. And if it's just to stand and have them squeeze my hand until the injection is over, or just go and, and visit with other patients who are there to help them to realize that the word cancer does not have to be a death diagnosis. This sounds really weird. Yeah. <laughs> So we celebrate you. Thank you. And I get to and live to victory. tell my story. Yes, yes. That's a powerful story. For a volunteer, it is a holistic journey for me as well as for them. And that's an experience I don't ever want to forget.